Howdy, this is Chuck with Simply Nuck, and this is the Tiger Porcupine from Simply Nuck. The Porcupine is fanless chassis available from Simply Nuck, which allow you to support different products in an industrial, kiosk, or remote locations where fan failure would be a problem. Let's take a look at the new Tiger Canyon version of the Tiger Porcupine. This is uh, some early boxes, and so you may get uh, newer packaging. The unit has the familiar heat sink chassis, and then the box has additional, uh, has our antennas for our Wi-Fi. This is a Wi-Fi version. Our 65 watt power brick, our Visa mount plate, and some quick start guides and regulatory documentation. I've put on my anti-static smock. I've got my wrist strap here. And as we always have our anti-static surface, because we will be taking a look at the inside. But starting with the outside, as we normally do, and the front, you can see our power button. And this is el eliminated. So when the unit's on, it will glow. And when it's in standby, it could be flashing. And then we have our two USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit USB ports. You can see the ample cooling surface and the curved cooling surface, which gives poor cool pine its name. And that cooling fins extends to the sides which allows for cooling of uh, high power SSDs or DIMMs. And taking a look at the back, we have our RS-232 port, serial port. We have our two RPSMA antennas. We have uh, two HDMI 2.0 with Type-C USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit as well as alternate display port and Thunderbolt 3 ports or Thunderbolt 4 and Thunderbolt 3. These will drive uh, displays. You can drive uh, two 4K monitors off one of them and one 4K monitor off the other. And of course, you can run 4K from the HDMI ports, which means you can drive a total of four 4K uh, displays. We have a USB 3.2 Gen 2 10 gigabit port, and then we have a USB 2.0 port. And we have our 2.5 gigabit ethernet. It does support 10 101 gigabit. And we have our DC connector, the standard 5.5 millimeter by 2.5 millimeter positive tip, 65 watts or greater. The unit will only consume about uh, sub 40 watts, but this allows you to uh, have more accessories or just some more headroom. And as you can see, we also have our IO expansion panel. So if you're familiar with the Tiger Canyon Nook where it has IO expansion options, we have those options as well as additional ones supported by the poor cool pine. Taking a look at the bottom, you can see our four screw holes. These are for bolting a 2.5 SSD directly to the bottom plate, which it uses for cooling. And we have our two mounting holes, which allow you to hang this on either a Visa plate mounted to the back of a monitor or screwed to a wall. And we also offer an optional DIN rail mounting for this since it is more industrial. All right. Now we will put the antennas on there and show you the cool look with the, the uh, antennas. If you order the optional uh, Wi-Fi, this comes with Wi-Fi, or th this has an optional Wi-Fi AX. Most industrial customers do not want radio, so it is an upgrade option. And with that, you get high gain antennas. It is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi 6. All right. Takes a number one screwdriver. Uh, when you go to the Simply Nook website, 
You can order it with up to 64 gig of RAM, up to an eight terabyte primary SSD, and up to an eight terabyte secondary SSD. There's the bottom plate. The bottom plate is a nice thick piece of uh, metal for uh, ad adding additional cooling to the system. And you can see the cutout here is for your SATA drive cable. So there's no interference. And then taking a look at the inside, this will be very familiar to those of you who have used uh, Tiger Canyon or reviewed that. And so you can see we have our Wi-Fi antenna. We have our place for our dim our 2242 uh, optional I.O. Uh, devices, and our two DDR4 dim sockets. We have our front panel, panel header is plugged into the front power switch, and then we have our RS-232 serial. Additionally, there's two USB 2.0 ports for going to additional I.O. and the I.O. bracket. You can see our radio, our, our battery here, so it's easily replaceable uh, should it uh, uh, expire. And uh, you can see the antenna connections coming across and plugging into the radio. There's uh, additional cooling options for the inside when there are um, high wattage devices that need additional cooling. There are some options that Simply Nook offers. And then you can see the IO expansion backplate uh, it's removable, and then we have I.O. options that bolt in there. And so that's the inside. You can also see uh, that the uh, linoleum is uh, very thick, so it will um, sync up a lot of the heat from the processor. And this is available with 15-watt processors that boost to 20-watt, and it can cool applications uh, up to 85% CPU load. Uh, most of your applications will run somewhere between a 5 to 15% CPU load, but the chassis is designed for up to 85% CPU load. The Simply Nook Tiger Pork Cool Pine is available in i3, i5, and i7, as well as the vPro i5 and vPro i7 for remote management. For digital signage or remote applications where you need to manage hundreds of systems, you can order your Porcupine with your custom image on it from Simply Nook. Head over to simplynook.com at the links below and configure your system today. Thank you.